Morning, even afternoon, we got a banger for y'all today, baby. We got for you, here's a pretty big one. Evidently, this is a date that was leaked for the release of Warzone 2. I talk about it in here, I'm curious to see what y'all think as well. I am very hopeful, I will say that, that this date is accurate. <laughs> if you do enjoy this, drop a like, share it with a friend, sub, ring the bell, most importantly, be sure to tell us about it, you love them. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. The most fun I've been having with recording YouTube videos right now has been the off stream MW2 campaign. I, I I can't even lie to you. That has been the most fun I have been having. So like Warzone, obviously, we're we're in this we're in this lull with Warzone right now. Right. We're in, we're in we're kind of in a war zone. What's the word I would use? It's like we're in this, we're in this in-between. Okay, let me put it to y'all this way. Here's where we're at with Warzone. If I'm honest with you, I think the game is in a pretty decent spot. Caldera, obviously people prefer Verdansk, but like the, the redeploy balloons, uh, I don't like the planes. There's little things obviously I would change if I could, but the game is actually in a pretty good spot. Here's what I think the problem is. We are in this period in the Warzone 2 community where we are in between and, 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 and waiting for the new Warzone 2, right? So we're in this weird middle area where we're still playing Warzone right now, but in, I mean, what is it? September, October, two months, we're gonna be in Warzone 2. And and obviously Modern Warfare 2 technically comes out late October, stuff like that. So it's like, even if you, if you break it down to that, we're like a month and a half, the new Warzone. And I think the fact that we're so close, yet still like a month away, is kind of putting us in this limbo where it's like, I mean, just, and I'll say, I'll say as a content creator, recording Warzone content right now, it's just, it's, it's hard because you're in a limbo, right? It's in this in between, it's, it's like you're living, let's say you're living in an apartment, right? Or something like that. Or maybe you're just moving houses, right? So you have a house and in two months, you're going to move to a new house. You're thinking about the new house probably more than you're thinking about your current house. You know what I mean? Like you're thinking about, okay, I got to get the furniture or stuff like that. Like you're getting ready to move into the new house. And, but right now we're still in our old house. You know what I mean? So it, it's just, it's tough. The, the period we're in right now. And the weird part is, and I, I have to give credit, dude, they're still updating the game. I, if I'm completely honest with you guys, bro, I'm going to be completely honest. I, I thought that when Warzone 2 got announced, they would just completely just stop updating. I, I, I really did. I thought they were just good because you guys got to think about it, right? Warzone, when Warzone 2 comes out, Warzone is basically just gone because it's a whole new game, right? So it's like, in my head, I was like, I wonder if they would just let the game just go and just kind of fall off, if you will. But they are still updating it and they're putting stuff in. But it is it has made this interesting thing where I've had to kind of think of different ways to sort of make videos or entertain myself kind of a thing. Because I do want to have fun while I'm making videos. And I gotta tell you, these campaigns, whew, I'm having a blast. I I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest. I am having a blast playing through the MW2 campaign. And I want you guys to know, I recorded. I recorded some stuff off stream today for the MW2 campaign playthrough. I'm not going to tell you what it was because I don't want to spoil it because the video is going to go up this weekend. The campaign that I played through in MW2 today blew my mind. It blew my mind. I, I don't want to spoil it exactly, but all I can say is I did not realize. I, <laughs> How do I even explain? I don't even know. I don't want to spoil anything. It's just, dude, the missions that I did this morning and the video will probably be up this weekend for the MW2 campaign. It, I, I totally forgot the mission was in the game. I totally forgot it. And it was so, so good. It was so good. I, so I really am, dude, I'm having a blast right now with like recording the campaign and stuff and play through that. And if I'm honest with you, if I can get through this MW2 campaign in kind of a timely manner, um, I'm probably gonna do, I think I'm gonna do an MW2019 playthrough as well. Like I said, man, the, the feedback on those videos has been really good and people seem to enjoy watching them a lot. And I'm still gonna make Warzone content, right? I'm still gonna play Warzone and stuff like that, but it, it's, uh, yeah, we're just in this weird kind of limbo where we're just waiting for Warzone 2 and we're still getting updates and there's still stuff that's pretty cool. But at the same time, it's like in three months, you know, in three months, it's rocked. 
You know what I mean? So, Timmy, don't want to spoil a 13-year-old game. Well, if you're watching my playthroughs, you'll know where I'm at. So, I don't want to spoil that. I actually hear that the MW 2019 campaign is actually very good. And, and just to be clear, I played the MW2 2009 campaign when I was 19. I never played the 2019 one. I, I never played the 2019 game. So... I really do think I'm gonna try and play through that as well and kind of do a similar thing like I'm doing. How's the Fall Guys video doing? The Fall Guys video flopped, but it's okay. I've learned about YouTube, man. Uh, sometimes, I, I, sometimes videos you think are gonna do well, just don't. And that's just how YouTube is sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes it's like you think that a video is gonna do well and the video just flops, you know? And this is, uh, this was one of the, it was one of those videos, man. And and to be honest, there's been videos where I'm like, this video is probably going to be ass. You know what I mean? This video is not going to do anything. And then that video pops off. It's really odd. I, I don't know. I can't I can't really explain YouTube, bro. It's just sometimes they they hit and sometimes they don't hit. So yeah, Warzone right now, man. I mean, we y'all heard yesterday, right? Warzone 2 release date got confirmed. Leaked. I shouldn't say confirmed. Leaked. Did you guys hear that? I'm giving y'all a second to answer me. Y'all heard. Y'all heard. But you guys actually didn't hear. So the date from MW2 got leaked. I'm sorry, for Warzone 2, not MW2. Oh, you guys didn't hear. Oh, November 16th. I mean, it's a leak. I can talk about it. November 16th. So I guess I probably should have assumed some of you probably didn't hear about that. But um, there was like an internal document that got leaked for Warzone 2 and it's November 16th is like in the internal document that was there was like a picture or something of the internal document it also had some World of Warcraft stuff on there so I was lit bro that's like the perfect Tim the Tapman leak by the way I'm totally down because it was like it talked about wow it talked about the World of Warcraft timeline and then on top of that it had Warzone in there I was like dude this is freaking sick I, I guess technically that leak could be fake right I think it had Overwatch 2 on there as well it was actually a really big leak if it is all accurate. It was World of Warcraft, OW2, and then Warzone 2. But yeah, so Warzone 2's release date got leaked. Obviously, we know MW2 was coming October 28th, right? That was already announced, but we didn't know what was gonna happen with Warzone, like, cause correct me if I'm wrong. The first time Warzone came out, MW, M Modern Warfare 2019 released in October, correct? Warzone came out next March, is that correct? That's, I mean, we'll say November, December, January, February, four months. I'm pretty sure it did, if I'm not mistaken. I was afraid that MW2 was gonna come out in October and then like next year we were gonna get Warzone 2. So I'm really hoping that November 16th leak date is accurate because I thought for a little while there, I was like, I really hope it doesn't take a long time, but I'm very hopeful. I was really scared. So I'm really hopeful that November date is accurate because that'd be really, really good in my opinion. I will say too, what's it called? DM, DMZ, is that the, right? DMZ, that's a new game mode. That's the name of it, right? DMZ, I think comes out in October as well. Dude, listen, th this is what I'm talking about though. They're like, we're in this right now, there's so much stuff on the horizon for Call of Duty's community, like, MW2, Warzone 2, and even DMZ. I'm gonna throw that in there because I have no idea what that's gonna be like. That could be lit. It's like Warzone right now is just in this weird lull because we're just kind of waiting for that, so. D Wait, Diablo 4's release date was in there too? When was that? I didn't even see that part. I saw Overwatch 2. I saw um, World of Warcraft stuff, and then I saw Warzone 2. I didn't see Diablo 4. When was that? I didn't see. Is it 2023? Oh, for December 8th is gonna be a pre-purchase on the leak. Okay, man, whoever, bro, whoever leaked that document, by the way, probably fired. <laughs> I mean, that, that, dude, that was a big leak. That wasn't just, it wasn't just, it wasn't just one thing. It was like World of Warcraft, Overwatch 2, Warzone 2, Diablo 4. Hey, here's all the info. Um, so, <laughs> but yeah, so that, that was the leak about Warzone 2 and that the, the release date is gonna be November 16th that is so far now it's not 100 percent confirmed but it looks pretty good and so fingers crossed that date is accurate and mw drop mw2 drops in october and then we got a couple you know weeks to grind the camos put the hashtag time in and then um warzone 2 in early november so and on top of that i gotta play dmz dude the content that's coming through soon is gonna be 
unreal and i'm so excited for it but as of right now i'm really just loving playing through the campaign <laughs>